was diagnosed to be having septic arthritis, and uh, that was pus in her joint. And as they were managing her in the hospital, she had an epileptic reaction. That is when you react negatively to drugs. And I was actually in that ward, and I saw her physically. She was looking very ill. She wanted to testify to the goodness of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. My name is Sister Moduka Kitsoku from Akpote District. I thank God for the salvation of my soul. Please speak and louder. I, and I want to thank God for how the Lord, for the gift of life. It happened, um, it started around November. There was a time I had some infection. I was given some IV drugs. So later I was discharged. And I started having pain in my right arm. And um, later I saw that the right arm was gotten, you know, started swelling up. I went to the hospital again. So later they discovered that there are some, you know, pus there. And they, I was told that I'll be admitted and minor surgery will be, will be done. So after the surgery, which was successful, later I started having some reactions that I couldn't sleep in the night. I was having severe headache that I had to, you know, hold my, I would be holding my head. And I, it would be as if the whole world is, 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 was turning. And it continued like that. Later, it now got to the, to, you know, I, that I, was, I couldn't sit down again. If I tried to sit down, maybe to eat, I would just, you know, feel dizzy. Before I know it, I would lose consciousness maybe for just maybe one minute. Before I know it, I would just see the nurses, the doctors, you know, surrounding me. They are already put oxygen, the pulse oximeter, everything around me. My parents, husband, you know, beside me, looking at me. I said, what, what had happened? You know, which continued like, the, like that. So for days, I couldn't even stand up. Even to eat, I had to eat, little, the little I can, I had to eat on the bed. Everything was done right there on the bed. Before an, an attempt just to raise my head, I would be feeling that headache, very severe one. That I had to be holding the head, and you know, even Prastamon, the pain relief that I was given couldn't even do, couldn't even relieve the headache at all. So there was, you know, the doctor was just saying, "Don't worry, it will, it will, it will, it will, it will go." And after that, I found out that every, um, I couldn't. It, it it was as if I was feeling more weaker and weaker. That was the time the crusade of the Great Explosion started. And um, I couldn't attend the retreat, the crusade, because I was on admission bed during the Christmas pe um, period. And then my parents, my sister, my husband, anytime they come to the hospital the next day to check on me, they will tell me the, what GS said, the, the message, the testimonies that was that was they were given. You know, especially the one that was given by a copper that lost consciousness and even came alive again. And the fifth, the, after the fifth, during the fifth day of the, of the crusade, I collected my husband's phone and the, I started looking, if I could hold the phone, because holding a phone, it would be very, very heavy on my hand. And even this, any sound coming to my ear, it would be as if the sound is just banging my head. I couldn't even do anything, just to be, everything to be silent. So I just managed to listen to the choir song, which was, um, is alive, is alive that Lazarus, despite the fact that he was dead for, 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 for four days, Jesus Christ came and he was... He and let's was, go was, straight to the point. We have so, a lot of people waiting. Please. So that song, I just immediately, I said, I too, I'm going to come out of this world alive in the name of Jesus. So there and then, the power and the strength of the Lord just came upon me. And after the, the fourth day, that was how... The, the second day, that was I started sitting down. The headache subsided, and 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 I was feeling strong. This uh, the strength of the Lord was coming upon me little by little. And the fourth day, I was discharged from that word. Praise the Lord! And here I am, alive, and more testimonies coming from me by God's grace in Jesus' name.
All those who are testifying, please go straight to the point. The Lord God has raised her up. He, she's been sick before, but now, after that serious, severe, bedridden sickness, now she's back on her feet after the prayer of the man of God. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Yes. Next praise, testifier, please. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is Sister Irewalide Jesutofumi. She's been having uterine bleeding. She wants to testify to what God has done. Praise the Lord. Mufiokwe for long on Baba Matia, Mimimo. O look bala, two loos on Bobaraye. Lati January four. Ni mutim pakara mi eh gege bi obinrin onisun eje gbati mo wa lo si Jericho mo lo four days won treat mi omi lori sirisi gbogbo sirisi ni mo gba won tun ri fa mi lo sade oyo scan lori sirisi test lori sirisi sugbon still na o si jade mo wa gba lori radio pelu inira yen loko mi wa ni ah Ohun to ba gba la ma fun pe a ma de bi ilu ta ti wa ba ti wa beri sugba a lori ofe lati le lo si program bai sugbo oluwa lori ka ma bo nba don ta fi wa ni december mo du pe lowo olorun baba ma ti e mi mo obirin to wo ri oni sun e je san ni gba ni o ko si mi ni ojo akoko to je ojo akoko ti a se program lori oke yi to je ejo monday mo ri oluwa Alone, si se ohun iyanu ninu aye mi ohun lo je ki so pe iru iriri ti mo ri lawo kan ri sugbon ti mo ri gba won kan ri amen ani ka ma de fu testimony mo no oluwa se pe ni mo pa ngba to di jo keji mo loju orun mi mo tun ri oluwa lojo ta di sentin titi di moju mo ni Arugwa ajo sisha se pe ninu aye mi eba mi oluwa logo Amen She's been suffering from issue of blood and you heard when our father and the lord was mentioning that case and now a fountain of blood has stopped a dry. And that's why she's so happy singing praises to the name of the Lord. Say amen. amen. Now another testifier. Praise please, the Lord. Let's go straight to the point, please. The next person beside me had an adverse reaction to drugs that caused severe ulceration on her lip. And in the course of this, she wants to testify of what God did concerning the ulcerated lip and the adverse problem in her body. Praise the Lord! Brethren, praise the Lord! By the grace of God, I'm Motorayo Olagunju from Akono uh, District, Onara 1, Egbeda region. By His grace, I'm saved by the special grace of God. About 15 years ago, I was sick, so I went to the hospital and I was given uh, some drugs. Uh, uh, the drugs include septrin. So after taking the drug, I discovered my, that my lips became, uh, I, have, I, have, I, I have injury on my lips. And along the line, the thing went off. And since then, it will come and it will go. It will come and it will go. So when it comes to last year, January, this thing came and never gone. I tried all things. I put all things. Many people will say, sister, what about this your lip? Look, uh, look for something to, to do about it. Even myself, I became ashamed of the lips. When this, th this thing started, it would be inching me, pending me, as if something is walking around it, and I'll be scratching. In fact, it got to a time the thing started smelling. So I have to, when, when I heard that our, our father is coming, so I went to the hospital, and I, they asked me to go and do some tests. So after the test, I was told that it's, a, it's an infection, but not much. 
So I said, okay, they wrote, they prescribed some uh, drugs for me, but I didn't buy them. I said, when I come to this place, I believe God that I will be ill. And by the special grace of God, when I came on Thursday, that first Thursday, I didn't even mind. I've forgotten about the leaves. I was pointing my hand, my hand on my eyes because I can't see from far. I can't see something very far. So when on the third day, the Spirit of God told me that, you are pointing at your eye. What about your, that your leaf that is rotting? So I said, ah, that is true. So when the man of God was praying, I laid my hand on my eyes and along with my mouth and my lips. And lo and behold, when the man of God finished prayer, the, 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 the lips just dry up. So that day, I said, I will not come out. I will have to see. There's Amatan. I can't laugh. I can't talk much. If I eat, if if I just step on this, I in fact, it will be a tug of war. I have to leave the food, soak my lips in the water for about 30 minutes before I can even continue the food. If I if at all, I will even eat the food again. But to the God, the, the, the glory of God, I've been eating here, nothing happened to the uh, lips. I've been yearning. In fact, I've been doing even the mouth, is, the lips is here. You can see no more wound. Praise the Lord! Remember this, it's a global, a global program. Whatever God is doing here, he's doing much more in other places, online, other nations. Now we want to listen to what the Lord God has done online, in other places, on this planet. Over to you, social media. Come on. Indeed, great things are happening on the social media. As we have testimonies all the way from Emo State and also from Calabar. But before we go to Emo State, let's head down to Joss Plateau State where Aisha had been battling with stomach ulcer and asthma for six years. But ever since she attended the program online, she got connected online, had the, the message from our Father and the Lord and received the prayer. She can now eat and breathe well also brother timothy is testifying of how god has healed him from three years of high blood pressure during the lagos crusade in december and after since then he has, he has decided to check up until now his blood pressure is normal and he's not taking any drugs of whatsoever kind to remain healthy praise the lord now we'll take you to emo states for a testimony. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Confidence Chibozo. I am from Deeper Life Campus Fellowship, Federal Polytechnic, Naked Owere. I'm here to testify the goodness of God in my land. I was having pain all over my body, but this particular thing that happened, it started 2018 when I had pneumonia. It entered my lungs, my bone, everywhere. It was, I, I ran tests, I confirmed it. Then since that time, I have been having this pain on my spinal cord. Every time I remember that, I, I would just be, I would just be down in my spine. How can, it, as young as I am, I'll be having spinal cord problem. What, what will be the end? What, what will the future hold for me if I'm suffering from spinal cord issues? But if the pains will come like this, I, I will not breathe well. Yesterday it happened. Even since this week, it has been happening to me. Someone close to me, when I had the experience, I said the best, I told the person, this thing has started. I cannot breathe well. If I want to breathe, it gets to a stage, it will hang. I cannot breathe well. Yesterday, the same thing happened. The GS said we should lay our hands where we have the problem. I laid my hand that place at my back. Just that place. It, it, the only the finger that I pointed, it was paining me. Immediately after the prayer, they said, check yours. I checked it. The pain was still there. But when I went to that very yesterday night, I, I slept and I woke up even this morning. It was even this morning that I, I noticed. I did not even know that the thing has already happened yesterday. Till this morning. I was breathing. I was testing myself. One of my spirit told me to check myself. Was it that I got and I laid my hand on yesterday? Does it mean that it has really happened? This morning, I checked and I breathed well. The 
Keep God's name is no longer there. His name alone be highly exalted in Jesus' name. Great things are happening as we take you now to Calabar for a testimony. It's the Lord! I present to you a wonderful miracle God has done here for us in Calabar. This is Lemmy Etugudo. This man here had accident on the 20th day of June 2020, which precipitated his two legs, and he was using these aids you can see behind. But yesterday, while he was strolling, around one of the clusters in Calabar region. Something told him, go in there for the crusade, and he decided to go. He listened to the man of God, and the GS said, wherever you have challenge, place your hand there and raise the other one up, and he obeyed. At the last amen, the power of God struck his legs, and power came into his leg. He could not walk without the, the clutches. Somebody shout, hallelujah! Can you demonstrate now? Can you demonstrate? Can you come? Can you come? Hallelujah! 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 These are the clutches. Somebody shout Amen! Parliamentary extension district. I had a, um, a surgery in Lagos that led to serious I had, um, pelvic abscess that led to serious um, operation for, for two times. After the operation, it was bringing up pus and um, poo. Then after the after the operation, I came to Calabar for another for another checkup and the rest. And when I got to Calabar, I was admitted in teaching hospital. They checked me and I went for another scan. They said I should do another scan. The scan said that I have four holes in my abdomen and they will operate me again for the third time. I cried to God and it, it was it was bringing out pot and, and the pool. But for doing the program of the impact, when Jesus was, was preaching, he just mentioned my case. He said that you are there and when he was preaching, he said you are there and you have this intestine problem, I have a wound that is bringing out pus and whatever it is bringing out, and the Lord has healed you. And right from that moment, I, I, I got my healing. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Now we come to uh, the Alpha location that's here now. Let's listen to another testifier. Praise the Lord. This is Mama Adewusi Folashade. She developed a sciatica pain. That is a pain from the back of the, uh, of, the, of, of, of the buttock down to the leg. She wants to testify of what God has done. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. I'm Adewushi Falashade from Onireke District of Makola Group. I travel from Ajakuta with my vehicle, with one, one of my pastor's uh, wife, through Okene or uh, war to your uh, state. The journey was successful, but later I, I had, I've been having pains with the leg. I've been having pains. But by the grace of God, after the prayer of our man of God, on Saturday, the third day of the crusade, he mentioned, yes, mentioned my case. And I was ill completely. I had complete freedom in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Yes, another testifier, please. Praise the Lord. This is Sister Taiwo Bayode. She started having the feeling of unwellness, heaviness around her neck and shoulder. And this was incapacitating, but she wanted to testify to what God has done for her. 
Praise the Lord. I thank God for the salvation of my soul. It happened on 22nd of January. I just, dis I woke up and I discovered I could not turn my neck. I could not breathe well. I called my sister, this is what's happening to me. She told me that she would use some med 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 medicine. I took it all to no avail. And I think within me that, thank God, this is the week of global crusade. And I said, I'm going to say a father in the Lord, life and direct. So, and I made up my mind, I will not miss any of the program. And to the glory of God yesterday, I just said, we should lay our hands where he's painting us. I lay my hands on the neck. And to the glory of God, after the last amen, I discovered I see something fell off my neck and my back. I could breathe well. What I could not do before, I could turn my neck. I could bend down now to the glory of God. Praise the Lord. <laughs> who are packing those chairs, please stop. Let ushers help us to stop them. Those packing the chairs, stop them. Ushers, go there and stop them. Let's hear now another testifier. Praise the Lord. You said? Praise the Lord. The sister beside me has a swelling in her tummy. And she wants to testify to what God has done. Praise the Lord. I am happy with the God of Pastor W.F. Kumui. Because I've been attending programs and I prayed about these things, nothing is being happened. This thing has been here for almost 11 years now. After nursing my second twins, a year after, I discovered there's a lump, small thing, just come out and start growing here at the right part of my stomach here. I've been watching it. It started growing. It's growing. I, see, I can see that it's increasing. I, I became afraid. I told my husband, come and see this thing that is here. It's like it's increasing in size. He said, maybe I should go to hospital. I'm afraid to go. Because I don't know what I will, that I will be told over there. I've been praying, God, please, I don't want this thing here. I want it to disappear. Since this program started, I wanted to come, but I couldn't because of some financial constraints. But I said, God, this is the last day. I have to be here by, by fire, by force. God assisted me to be here. When the prayer was going on, I placed my hand there, and I was pressing the thing. It has, it's here. When I put on my, my top, you see this, this tie swollen up. At times, I would do like this to hide it. But as I was praying, as I, prayed, I saw that the thing is going inside. Because on ra, osa and rani, osa and rani. But she rara to see me, what feel you? But praise the Lord! years of swelling right inside the womb disappeared. Look at that. Put your hands together for Jesus. Every years of agony gone. Amen. Let's listen to another testifier. Praise the Lord. This is his, uh, Mrs. Moron KG Nike. She was involved in a motor's uh, tra traffic accident in September 2021 and ever since developed a limb problem. She wants to testify to what God has done for her. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Moronke Jinike. I have an accident on September 2021. 
before this bone. If I won't bend down like this, I will feel pain. I can't bend down free. But as the, man, the servant of God is minister, I toss. I say, God, this is the last time I will toss this leg because I, this is today, make and thought days that I come. I say, let this one be last, that I will thought this day, that I want to receive my miracle today. So as I bend and I can bend down, I don't feel any pain at all. I give God glory. The God of Savant W. F. Kumu, I can never forget this crusade that I come. The praise the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus. like we have some testifiers waiting online and as they come before they come on let's listen to this testimony the Lord. this is Emmanuel Ukum with low back pain she want you want to testify to the goodness of God praise the Lord praise the Lord okay my name is Emmanuel Inose Ukum I'm from Edo State. And even before I came for this program, I was not even aware that there was a program like this going on. But for a long time now, since I can remember, I've always had a back pain. And because I usually sit down for long hours, I noticed that um, um, during December, this last December, it got very bad that sometimes if I stand, like the way I'm standing now, like it would be seriously paining me. Even for me to sit down, it would be paining me. But I remember on, on Sunday night, when our Father and the Lord, he said um, that we should pray. So I just had this uh, um, understanding in my spirit that I should place my hand in my waist, just like he said. So when I did that, as they were praying, I noticed that there was a sensation in my back. I could feel my back like it was readjusting. I literally felt something move in my back. So after the, the last amen, just like, I don't even know, as, as simple as it might have sounded, I noticed that everything was completely gone. My back was completely restored. It's, even till now, it's almost like as though God has given me a brand new back. Because the things I was feeling before, the pain I had, I don't know how to feel anything. Can you bend again. down? Bend down. Come up. Bend down again. Come up. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs> Social media platforms. Come on Great now. Things still coming up here online. We'll take this one quickly before we go to um, testimonies from Worry, Delta State, and Lagos. We'll take this one from YouTube page. It's coming from Umba Foster, all the way from Ghana, Kumasi, Ghana. It says, he suffered from bronchopneumonia, asthma, and BP since 2018. But... During the crusade, during this ongoing crusade, he laid his hand on his head, on his chest, and all the places he was feeling pain. And something about the final amen. At the mention of the final amen, he got healing from all of these things. He went for tests, and he's confirmed that they are all gone. Praise the Lord. We take you now to worry Delta State, South South Nigeria. Praise thy Lord. My name is Sister Sabina Amadi. I come from Delta State, Sabile region. 
So what God has done for me is what I want to testify now by the grace of God. God is a very great for, to me. God has done much work for me. And today, I came out to testify about the goodness of God in my life. This happened October when our GS came to Port Harcourt. Showers of Blessing program. So God, that time I was so sick and I'm not feeling fine. So God uh, visited me in that uh, crusade. So now, the problem that brought me to that crusade is sleepless nights and the uh, ulcer. Another one again, I was having high blood pressure. And by the grace of God, after I went, the man of God prayed. He told her that anywhere you know that you have challenges, you should lay your hand upon that place, which I did. And by the grace of God, God visited me. After the program, I noticed that I don't even have that BP problem has gone. Also gone. And sleepless night, I can sleep very well since then to today. I am so happy what God has done in my life, and I'm so happy. Praise thy Lord. Brethren, praise thy Lord. I will take you to Ejigo in Lagos State for another testimony. Lagos coming now. Praise the Lord. Here in Ejigo group, all is the Lord has been working wonders, miracles, saving soul and healing the sick. This mama is here today and she, the Lord has touched her. She wants to give a testimony to your hearing. Mama. Put your hands together for Jesus. Emma Bo Mama, Emma Bo. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Miracles have been happening everywhere. And some miracles have happened already. But those who receive those miracles will testify later on. And the testimonies of this crusade will continue for the rest of the year. As a father and the Lord travels to Tarabo State, you will hear the testimony in Tarawa also. And wherever our Father and the Lord goes, he burden, total freedom, total freedom through faith in Christ, we continue to reverberate. And you will be one of those who will bring your own testimonies in due time. Say louder, amen. Let's celebrate a little bit more. <laughs> stand up to thank the Lord God for bringing us to a very good climax of a very good crusade. Global crusade, the whole world is affected and we have testimonies all around. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are grateful, Father.